Hi, welcome to an Arduino step-by-step -step course by RoboJax. In this lecture, we are going to learn how we can display the temperature that is measured with this DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor on this TM1637 modules. We have already studied and learned how we can use this with all the features on the serial monitor, and also we know how to use TM1637 LED display. Now in this lecture, we are going to combine this and see how we can use these two modules with these two different type of uh, seven segment display. And we are going to uh, use to display the temperature on them. This portion of the code is exactly the same as DHT11 without the display. I've explained it. For the TM1637, I've put the start of the setting and I put end of the setting so this portion everything is for the settings of TM1637 clock pin as pin 5 and digital in out pin at pin 6 these are constants and then this is a class we create from this class we create an object an instance of the class we call it display and it has two parameter the first and the second the first one we pass the clock this is as if we type 5 here and data in out and we pass this data in out here as if we type 6 here uh, data type this is an array of blank the all of these are hex value of 0 x 0 x 0 that's a hex value with a value 0 0 0 these are for the four digits Whenever we need to clear the screen, this will be used, and we just call the blank. The test delay that I've used when I run different iteration, so 2000 milliseconds is for the test. Inside the setup, we initialize the serial monitor in case you get some issue with a LED display, so you can debug it from here, and then we set the brightness, display dot set brightness, and 0x, 0f, this is the hexadecimal value to set at the maximum brightness. I the loop, initialize the DHT11 as before, this is exactly the same. This was the code that we just ran when without the display. After this, here it starts, we set display set segment blank, so this is blanking the screen because this is a loop and continuously there will be more information, so the previous values will be clear display dot show number decimal is uh, responsible for sending the value to the screen uh, to the display and we use get temp with the C this function will get the temperature in Celsius and then this false means no zero before this and this two means length of the digits in Celsius this cannot go uh, for uh, above 50 and this this two means the position for the two digits we start from digit zero digit one digit two if we say two it will start from this point and then we have some delay and here we again blank the screen using set segment blank the blank have been defined in here i mentioned it this is coming here and we are using it and here we just show uh, use the show number decimal this time we don't mention anything just say get temp Fahrenheit as you can see this 72 or 82 is the Fahrenheit temperature without all those parameters and now I have set this to true as you can see with Fahrenheit we are getting also two zeros I've set this to start from zero as you can see the Celsius is starting from zero and here I've changed it to 1, so 0, 1, it will start from position 1. And here 
This is the larger version of the same LED display. Here is the wiring for DHT11 with TM1637 chip with four digit LED display. And this, this section, the wiring is exactly the same as before. For the right pin, I've connected it to the ground, which have been connected to the ground of Arduino. This line of breadboard have been connected via this red wire to five volts. This is the clock pin, have been connected via yellow wire to pin five. And this is the data in out pin, have been connected via this orange wire to pin number six. The third pin from the top is the VCC, have been connected to five volts to this line. And the last pin is ground, have been connected to this line, which is connected to the ground. The wiring of DHT11 with a larger LED display. This portion is exactly the same. The wiring, however, is a little different here. The data pin and clock is the same. Piece, the ground and VCC have been swapped. So and the VCC or 5 volt is the lower pin, which have been connected here, and the ground have been connected to the ground. For the PCB version of DHT11, this portion is exactly the same and the wiring is for the LED display is the same as I just explained. For the DHT11 PCB version, this portion is exactly the same. The larger LED display wiring is the same as I've just explained. And here is a demonstration. When with the large module, we have also a power LED at the bottom, which is good. Now it shows the Fahrenheit 29 and the s now, now it shows the Celsius in 27 degrees and Fahrenheit 80 with the zeros that I have enabled. And let me, now let me apply heat with my heat gun from, now let me apply heat with my Mastercraft heat gun which I bought it from Canadian Tire Store. And uh, let's see. As you can see, the Celsius is 51 and Fahrenheit is 123. And here is the green version of the same module. And here is the smaller version displaying Fahrenheit and Celsius. This was, this was how to use the TM1637 with TM1637 LED display. Thank you for watching. Now it shows the Celsius in 27 degrees and Fahrenheit 80 with the zeros that I have enabled. Now let me apply heat with my Mastercraft heat gun. As you can see, the Celsius is 51 and Fahrenheit is 123. Here is the green version of the same module. Here is the smaller version displaying Fahrenheit and Celsius. This was how to use DHT11 with TM1637 LED display. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe by clicking at the subscribe button in here. Thank you.
Thank you for watching tutorial from Robojax. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, please post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos.